face it, you're obsessed with yourself. Oh my your God. Your report card on the refrigerator like you're five years old. Hey, everybody, hey, everybody, look, I pooped in the big potty. Uh, God, do you even know what it feels like to love another human being? Oh, man, you are so dramatic, okay? Hey, life isn't fair sometimes, Nadine, okay? Get over it. I swear to God, I swear to God. And that was a bit from the new coming-of-age drama, The Edge of Seventeen, a candid and heartwarming look at teendom today. The film opens Friday. And joining us now to discuss is writer-director Kelly Freeman Craig and one of the film's stars, actor Blake Jenner. Welcome to both of you. We're so happy to have you. Thank Kelly, you so much. I, yeah. I have to say that your film really takes you right back. If, if you're not of that age, it takes you right back to those awkward oh my God. teenage years. Yeah. I yes. mean, Kelly, <laughs> what is it about the coming of age film that attracted you? Why did you want to make one like that? Well, I, I, I think it's such an interesting age. I feel like it's like it's a time where you're just uh, everything is so heightened. You know, everything feels like life and death. It's just and like the highs are extremely high and the lows are extremely low. And and you're just like, I think, you know, in a lot of ways, never quite so alive as you are that age. Um, and so I just, I, I think it's, I think it's interesting and complicated and absolutely yeah. all of those things. And Blake, tell us a little bit about your character because at least through the eyes of your sister, you are quite a piece of work. You know, you're sort yeah. of this golden boy that seems to have it all. Yeah, uh, impenetrable. Right, exactly. So what would you say about Darian? I don't like it exactly like you said. Like what I love about this movie so much, like just from like reading it from a, like you know just script wise, like it feels like you're reading someone's diary. And like the thing about a diary is that like the first journal entry is so much, so much more protected than the last one. Mm -hmm. Kind of like peeling back layers the whole time mm -hmm. with every character, and that's what I really loved is that like it's so easy to kind of like take any of these characters at first glance and just think you got them figured out. But what I love about my character is that. With each scene, he's kind of peeling back the frustration, peeling back his layers to where, like, at the end, you kind of see all like the stress he's been harboring, trying to keep his family kind of, absolutely his family and unit together. As an audience member, we feel like we learn so much more about you by the end of the film. Do you know what I mean? Like, we kind of see you through your your sister's eyes at the beginning, yeah. and then we really get to know you as well, which is which is such a great payoff. Yeah. Were you a fan? I'm wondering, Kelly, of John Hughes movies. I know I was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, like The Breakfast Club. I mean, yeah. I, like still. To this day, if The Breakfast Club comes on, you know, it comes on TV, I will stop and watch it. Yes. I just, I mean, yeah, I feel like those, the thing about those films is they just, they got the age right. They got the feeling right. And so, and and there's something about that that makes it timeless and universal. Because I say this as a compliment, I really felt like there was something John Hughesian about oh, your film. You. And one of the things that I think stands out is that John Hughes films, and I think your film did this as well, takes teenagers seriously. Mm, it yes. takes their problems seriously. It doesn't belittle them. Yes, there's humor, and yes, there's, you know, funny laughs sometimes, but it doesn't belittle what they're going through. It mm. treats them like adults in some yeah. ways, which yeah. is very respectful. No, absolutely. That's the thing. I, I really feel like he he paid respect to the age. Yes. He, and he, yeah, he just, he got it right. One of the first filmmakers to do that. And so tell, what was the cast like? Was there a lot of bonding? I mean, obviously you guys had a lot of raw scenes together. Oh yeah. I mean, you can't really avoid with like a project like this, like, and the crew we had and everything. Like everybody knew, everybody was so passionate mm -hmm. about this. It felt like, and the first thing Kelly told me before, you know, after I got the job, before I headed out to, to Canada to shoot it, she said, everything that's on the set, everyone around you is there to serve you. Mm -hmm. You know, she's like, don't don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't don't think that you're on your own. Like, we are a team, right. and that's exactly what the experience was. And you guys got close. And, yeah. and you know, I think also because the film really like lives and dies on performance. And so, if you know that, that there's sort of nothing else to hide behind. It's just all about is it real? And right. I I just feel so enormously proud of this cast. And I mean, and like. So, so many of the parts, like nobody else could have done it. And that's so true for Blake. I mean, right. like nobody could have done his part. Well, he was the perfect Blake, perfect yeah. Blake. And I wanted to ask you about your your lead actress because, you know, on the surface of it, she's really quite beautiful. You know, there's no reason that she couldn't have a very easy social life, right? And I'm wondering if in casting her, you were trying to make a comment about the fact that the insecurities that we feel as teenagers might have nothing to do with actually oh. what we look like. It's just all internal mm -hmm. that we feel this way, right? Absolutely. I think nobody gets out of nobody gets out of that experience. Nobody gets out of adolescence without some bruises. Right. You know, it doesn't matter what you look like or where you are in the social spectrum. Like, 
everybody goes through tough right. things where they where you feel all alone and like you're not sure if anybody understands you. Which is what I think that illustrated so well. So Blake, how old are you? I'm 24. So do you remember that period really well? I mean, do you feel like high school? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so totally. do you feel my favorite thing to do is with my friends is reminisce. My friends from high school. Oh, so really? I got like a, a yearbook up here. Of that time. <laughs> right, right. Totally. So, you know, looking at you, you're a handsome, successful actor. You're the kind of person that Nadine would have said, oh, that's the winner, right? You know, she puts people in two categories. Yeah. So did you feel very confident in high school? In high school? No, man. Not, <laughs> not by any chance. I, I thankfully had, like, a really great group of friends that I'd been friends with since, like, fourth grade. So we were, like, not self-conscious with each other, like, mm, right. just joking-wise, being dudes, and also, like, things we had going on in our lives and, and all that stuff, like feeling insecure or whatever. Like, I kind of had that. Like, that was my world. But yes. by no means was I the man in high school So you weren't the, all. the golden like, boy that and Darian I, And I broke out nasty junior year. Like, I went through all that. Everybody's there was like, no what acne happened in to your house. face? I'm like, I don't know, dude. I don't, right. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out this. Right. Right. Yeah. That's true. That's, that's another part of it, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. But it, you really did such a great job of just sort of capturing all the complexities and the ups and the downs of... of, of Young people discovering who they are. Yeah. In that in that period. Oh, so. thank you. So fantastic film. Congratulations to both of you. Thanks so much for coming to talk to us. Thank today. you so thank much you for so, having us. Yeah, thank you for having us.